Hi, I'm Richard Carlton. Welcome to the Coach's Corner. Hey everyone, my name is Miles Depsky, one of the coaches here with RCC. And this week I wanted to look at a cool tip with using a slide panel and a button bar instead of using a tab panel. Now in my example here, my customer actually sells insurance policies, uh, and so he has different types, health and dental, home auto, business property liability, and between those three there's different commission details, whether that's rates, etc., that he gets based on the type of insurance policy. Now we had these on different tabs, but it was kind of taking up extra space, and so he asked if we could hide one of these panels. So if it's home, health dental, can we hide these? And I said there's not really a way to hide a tab panel, but what we can do is use a slide panel and a button bar to achieve that same functionality. So I'm going to use some cooking show magic and flip over to a layout where I have this all wired in, and let's look at what it does. So here we have if I double click on this right here, a slide control. This is located up here. You can add a slide control. If I turn on these navigation dots, you can see that I have these three panels I can flip between and I can actually name them. So if I bring over my inspector and look, this first one's named health, the second one is named home, and the third one is called business. Now up here, this is a button bar. So right up here, we have this button bar object. So I can pull up the setup here and I see I have three of them, health, dental, home, auto, business, prop. And what I have on those, you see this little icon, that means there's a hide applied to it. So if I look on this first one, health, dental, it says hide this button right here when the policy type, this field, is not health, dental. And the same applies to these. So hide this one when it's not home, auto, etc. And then the last thing we did is on this type field, we put a script trigger. That's what that little icon means. So if I look at our script trigger on object modify, so whenever this data changes, this script is triggered. So OOM policy type change. If we look at that, super simple little script says if that field policy type equals health dental, go to object health. That's that first one we named, right? Else if it's home auto, go to home, etc., etc. So let's see how this works. We go into browse mode. As I change this policy type, you see at the bottom what's happening is it's going to the object down here, our slide panel, and then the button bar is hiding based on this value. So actually I would shut off these dots here and it kind of shows you how you can't even tell that you have a panel down here. The data is just changing. And so this way you can build out, you know, commission rates, other fields, basically build out this whole area and you're not losing any space and you don't even see the other two panels that are going on. So that's it for this week's Coach's Corner Tip. If you have any questions or are interested in our coaching program, please send an email to support at rcconsulting.com. And if you want to learn more about slide panels and button bars, check out our video courses at learningfilemaker.com. And also, make sure you download a copy of our fully unlocked solution, FM Starting Point, at fmstartingpoint.com. Thanks. Have a great week.